Hey guys, it's Maxine and thank you so much for watching. I wanted to post a little bonus video on my channel because I've had this in my camera roll for a while now. This is my client that I did the double process blonde on and I showed this video on my channel so I'll definitely link that. So definitely go check that out. So a couple of years ago, I created something called the Dreamcatcher Braid. It's a hairstyle that has been featured around the you know, hair world. It's been featured on Modern Salon and Matrix. And I'm just obsessed with this Dreamcatcher style that I created a while ago. I've done very many versions of this and um, other people have recreated it also. So that's really cool and I, I'm really proud of it. And yeah, so on this client, I was doing a version of the Dreamcatcher braid, and I already posted this on my Instagram a while ago, and I just never posted the tutorial for it, but I wanted to post a little bonus video and show you guys how I did it. I consider this more of like a medieval type of a Dreamcatcher, and yeah, so if you guys want to see how I did this medieval Dreamcatcher style, then definitely keep watching. <laughs> So basically I just take a big chunk of hair in the back of my client's head like by the crown and I do a regular braid and I just like to fluff out one side of the braid and twirl it into a big circle and pin it onto the head like onto the crown and that's like the base of the dream catcher and sometimes I you know double up and make more of these but I in this case I'm just going to do one big one I was trying to make like a quick thing out of it because my client was sitting in my chair for a while and this was just something fun to kind of get more pictures and content out of you can see in the mirror here there's like this big backdrop I have a portable backdrop at the time of this video when I did this color we were redoing our like lighting Instagram area and the lighting wasn't the best in the area that we were moving it to at the moment because we were waiting for more ring lights to come so I actually took like the video the after video of this double process platinum color and obviously the video of this dream catcher style and pictures I took it like in this spot in the middle of my salon and the only lighting that we had was the ring light but yeah, seeing how like her hair is very platinum and super long, I just thought that this was the perfect time to do a dream catcher style and my client's awesome. Shout out to Gigi. <laughs> uh, she just, you know, lets me style her hair. I have a lot of clients that let me do that. So I love all my clients who let me, you know, do a little extra and take some extra content for my channel and my Instagram and stuff. So thanks guys <laughs> for sitting there for a little extra time and let me do something fun. But yeah, well, this was a lot of fun to do the dream catcher style and like I said, it ended up turning turning out really medievally and so I just pinned like this middle base dream catcher you can see kind of starts to look like a flower a little bit and on her I, I ended up doing like a mini little dream catcher base on each side of it also so I'm just doing the same thing like braiding and then pinning the same exact way so I'm going to have three like right next to each other and then I'm going to be doing like a couple of like dangling type of braids to really like kind of finish the style and everything.
So while I was doing the style, like I said, I was getting like medieval vibes, Game of Thrones vibes, things like that. So this middle like strand here, this dream catcher, like the start of it, I really wanted to do like an S braid. I just feel like that looks so like kind of enchanted. So an S braid, I just took three strands, did a regular braid. And then when I get to the very bottom of the strand, you want to hold on to the middle strand and then group the two outer strands together and just very carefully push up and you'll get this like S like pattern and if you push it all the way up and then you kind of loosen it out a bit you'll see what I mean with this s with like the snake it's called a snake braid but yeah I just love how that turns out and I had to do it for this style <laughs> so I'm just doing like a quick little knot on the end so that this doesn't slide out and I'm going to be taking a bobby pin and just securing it with a bobby pin And I definitely want to accentuate how long her hair is with this Dreamcatcher braid. So I'm just finishing off the ends of this strand because I definitely have a lot of hair left. That always happens with snake braids. And I'm just, you know, finishing it off on the ends and laying it down. So because I finished off that middle braid with just a regular braid on the ends, I wanted to do a snake braid again on the sides, but on the very top part where it's next to the other snake braid, I wanted to leave that braid very simple. So I just sectioned it off with a bobby pin so that when I push the ends up to make the snake braid, it doesn't continue to push up the rest of the strands. So yeah, that just kind of helps add a little bit of dimension in the braiding. And then I'm just doing the exact same thing on the other side. And once I'm done with the braid, I just put a bobby pin so that it doesn't mess up my sneak braid. And I'm just teasing and kind of like dreadlocking just the one little part in that area so that I don't have to use a hair tie to close off the braid. And I'm just doing that on the exact same thing on the other side and making sure that both of the S snake braids are like the same length. I don't want one to be like longer than the other. So I'm just kind of going back and perfecting it. And this is the medieval platinum dream catcher all complete and thank you so much for watching like I said there's like a slight little golden tinge popping up on camera but in real life this was super white and super platinum I wanted to point that out and that's the same thing that goes for my double process video in the after videos and I just I'm obsessed with this dream catcher I love the medieval vibe my client has such nice long beautiful blonde hair and it just looks so cool and we always talk about the game of thrones vibes and everything i think she even wore it like close to halloween one year but yeah i posted the picture to this style on my instagram a while back so go check it out maxine glynn is my instagram and yeah thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it i hope everyone's doing well don't forget to subscribe to my channel and thank you so much for watching i'll see you in my next video bye oh. Take it to Mars, oh I'll stick like glue inside your mind Just watch me breaking